Over 90% of Americans struggle with obesity. It's no wonder one of the top searches on the internet is how to lose weight. In this video, I'll discuss my tactics on torching calories and getting rid of stubborn body fat. But first, I'm going to need you to like this video and smash that subscribe button. It really helps me out on my mission to help as many viewers as possible reclaim their health and get in the best shape of their lives. Let's dive into my tactics on how to lose belly fat. Number one, burn more calories than you consume. It takes a daily caloric deficit to lose weight. That means you have to create a 500 calorie deficit every day between what you burn and what you consume to lose one pound per week, which might not seem like a lot, but a pound a week adds up over the course of six months to a year. So how do you burn more than you consume? First, you wanna get up and get moving. Ideally, you wanna get 10,000 steps in per day, get in some resistance training three to four days per week, and accumulate 150 minutes of cardiovascular activity per week. Second, you wanna eat fewer calories. Multiply your body weight by 15, then eat at a 10 to 30% deficit of that number. If you move more and eat less, you will create a deficit that can contribute to what I call the caloric gap. As I said earlier, you have to create a 500 calorie deficit per day and you will lose one pound a week. If you can create a thousand calorie deficit, you can lose up to two pounds per week. The key is consistency. You can't be up and down with your caloric burn and your caloric consumption and expect to lose belly fat. Number two, stop drinking alcohol. Alcohol is an absolute goal killer. Over two thirds of adults drink and it can be a life crippling addiction for some. Alcohol, even in small quantities, can stunt your weight loss journey. When you drink, you're essentially consuming garbage calories, void of any nutritional value. Additionally, when you're drunk, you will make poor decisions and bad food choices. I've worked with so many clients who quit drinking and lose 10 to 20 pounds just in the first month by cutting out the booze. In short, there is no upside to drinking. The hangover, regret, bad decisions, the long-term effects on your health are just not worth it. Number three, eliminate sugar from your diet. 100 years ago, the average American consumed 18 pounds of sugar per year. Now that number has ballooned up to an unbelievable 180 pounds per year, and it just keeps on getting higher and higher. Consuming high amounts of sugar can lead to addiction, obesity, type two diabetes, metabolic disorder, systemic inflammation, and an early death. The best approach to quitting a sugar addiction is to replace the junk food with healthy alternatives like fruit, exercise, and drinking water. With all the mental health problems we are facing as a society, self-medicating with junk food is not a good way to alleviate stress and anxiety. In conclusion, losing belly fat takes time. Stubborn fat in the midsection is usually the last place you will lose weight, but it can be done. Follow the three tips I just went over, and with hard work, dedication, and believing in yourself, you will reach your health and fitness goals. If you want to start building healthy habits, I've got a special offer for you. If you are not seeing results in the mirror and you're sick and tired of falling short on your goals, my online coaching program is guaranteed to help you lose five to 15 pounds in the first 30 days. Check out my one client who lost 50 pounds or this other client who lost 10 pounds and did a complete body recomposition. You literally have nothing to lose and everything to gain, like feeling more confident, building muscle mass, and becoming the best version of yourself. In the meantime, watch the next two videos to learn more about living a healthy lifestyle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.